Hello Quest Kids, this is how we are going to be using the simulation today. First of all, it's all about momentum, so you've got to have two things colliding. So we've got Vehicle 1 and Vehicle 2. It's up to you to choose um, Vehicle 1 or Vehicle 2. So I'm going to choose the little car. See it right there? So I've got a little car. It has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and I'm going to crash it with another little car, which has a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Your first car is always going to be going the same velocity, you can't change that. But your second car, you can change the velocity. So I'm going to have my little car stopped in the middle of the road. And then I'm going to predict, after the collision, what is my speed that I predict my little car is going to go? I'm going to predict that he's still going to be going 50. And I'm going to predict that he's still going to keep going the same direction. I'm going to predict that he's not going to move. Stationary. So now that I've got all of those things filled out, it says that I can run a collision test. And the car is going to crash with a scream of... Uh... All good. Okay, so now I've got my actual data. If you look down here, my predicted was 50, my actual was 0. My predicted was 0, my actual was 50. I was way off. So if you look at those predictions, those are going to go in your data table up here for you. So mass of vehicle one before the collision was 1,000. So you're going to put 1,000 right here. Now the mass doesn't change. That car is still going to weigh 1,000 kilograms. You put your starting velocity, starting velocity, sorry, starting velocity, starting velocity, and then the direction, which way were they headed? And then you're going to be calculating the total momentum. Remember that momentum is mass times velocity. So you're just going to take these first two columns, multiply them to get momentum. So all of this side is before the crash. After the crash, you're going to fill out, remember the mass of the vehicles hasn't changed, so it's still going to be, in my case, since they were both the little car, down, the mass was 1,000 kilograms for each of those little cars. So 1,000, 1,000 but they have different velocities now, they have different directions, you're going to write their momentum again. Then you're going to look at the total momentum before and the total momentum after the crash. Then you're going to be going to your lab report right here, and hopefully all of that is explained fairly well. You're going to go to the journal questions. Questions are right here. Some of them are pretty direct. Some of them you're really going to have to think about it. You might have to use momentum laws and some of Newton's other laws as well to answer those questions. Once again, if you have any questions at all as you are doing the lab, you can always reach me at my number. Send me a text or have the sub give me a call and we can straighten you out. Good luck. Have fun.